Psoriasis is a complex autoimmune disease that affects the skin, forming scaly red patches, mostly at the knees, elbows, and scalp, although it can form anywhere on the body. It can also complicate conditions like heart disease, diabetes, and depression. Here we take a look at how psoriatic plaques form. When triggered, immune cells within the skin and elsewhere produce cytokines, also called interleukins or ILs, one of the ways the body mounts a response to a perceived insult or threat. Among them are the so-called common gamma-chain cytokines, the family consisting of six members, IL-2, IL-4, IL-7, IL-9, IL-15, and IL-21 which all have unique receptors, but share a common gamma-chain subunit. These cytokines perform important functions within the body when they are properly regulated. But in the case of psoriasis, many of these get out of control. When a cytokine binds with its specific receptor, it activates both JAK1 and JAK3. This activation creates a signal that is sent into the cell to initiate a response. In psoriasis, this process of binding, overstimulation, and subsequent creation of more cytokines creates a perpetuating inflammatory loop with excessive aberrant division of skin cells, producing the scaly red lesions common in psoriasis patients. Researchers at the Medical University of Warsaw, led by Dr. Katarzyna Koziak, have been investigating a known antibiotic that appears to block the extracellular ligand binding sites of common gamma chain receptors. The drug, known as cefazolin, exhibits a high affinity for these extracellular domains and effectively inhibits cytokine binding. This ameliorates skin inflammation and slows down aberrant cell division. Initial studies have confirmed that four receptor types, IL-2, IL-4, IL-15, and IL-21, interact and are blocked by cefazolin. There are plans for subsequent studies on remaining IL types. Reduction of these cytokines in the system translates to measurable results in the clinic. Previously approved by the FDA as an antibiotic, Dr. Koziak and her colleagues have discovered the drug's capacity to create an immunomodulatory effect that helps regulate interleukin pathways involved in the pathogenesis of psoriasis. A preliminary patient study with a new formulation of cefazolin showed a marked improvement in patient's skin. Administered as a cream, it works in a local capacity without the system-wide side effects of the injectable. It shows great promise in the treatment of psoriatic skin lesions.